I would like to apologize in advance for what you're about to see. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, can I get two coffees, please? Cheers! Hi there, fantastic travelers, and welcome to another episode of Take 5. Oh, I got a little surprise. <laughs> Cookie! We started this feature on our channel a couple of weeks ago as an experiment really and try to get to know each other a little bit better get more interaction with you guys at home and see if it catches on and so far it's doing great really so we already got some requests and we got a bunch of questions so thank you all for your input and today we're gonna do our first q a so if you are new to our channel or new to our take five episodes we are making videos based on your requests so if there's anything you would like us to address or make a video about or if you have any questions travel or van life related can be personal questions as well you can just leave a comment down below in the comment section and we'll try to make a video based on your request in the next episode how do you do this just talking to the camera and answer questions i think so yeah this will be a mess <laughs> I, I would like to apologize in advance for what you're about to see. <laughs> so the first question is from Rickard from Sweden and the Philippines journey. And he'd like to know where did we meet or how did we meet? How did we meet? How did we meet? How did we meet? <laughs> well, I was 17 and you were 24 and you were living in an apartment above the shop where I was working. And... You were just walking by and at that moment when I saw him for the very first time, I knew he was the man that I wanted to marry. So we became friends, very close friends, and uh, we dated a little bit and got to, to know each other. And, um, and then we became boyfriend and girlfriend. And five years later, bam! I had him! There he was! <laughs> he was my boyfriend! <laughs> We didn't have that status for a very long time though, because one year later... I popped the question! Yeah, <laughs> and we were engaged! <sighs> so we, we got together on September 15th, and then September 15th... One we, year later? One year later I proposed, and then two years later on September 15th we got married, which is five years ago this year guys! So second question is also from Rickard from Sweden and the Philippines journey. And the question is, why did, what made you decide to go for a camper van and not a treehouse boat or off-grid cabin? Right. Well, we don't know the first thing about boats. <laughs> and, they um, float, right? They float. That's, that's where it ends, my knowledge. And um, we wanted to travel. So we needed something on wheels, probably. So a treehouse wouldn't be the, the easiest to move, probably. I get nauseous when I'm standing on a stack of newspapers. So <laughs> a treehouse didn't really... <laughs> no, just kidding. The main reason is that we wanted, we wanted to travel. Yeah. So being in a, a treehouse, which is still in one place... Wouldn't do it. Didn't make sense. Yeah. So we wanted to travel. We couldn't fly to Australia as we've got that black furry thing, Mio. <laughs> So we wanted to have something that is a house already, which could move. So a van make, made sense? It made sense. Absolutely. Yeah. And it still does. Yeah. Still makes sense, so probably made the right decision. Well, we can't move now, so it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Now Kirsten Tozer, he would also like to know why we live in a van, but I think that he wanted to know why we made the decision to move out of our house and move into a van. We were just fed up with having a mortgage, having a nine to five job and being stuck in one place and just living from one month, month to, to another, one vacation to another and 
um, we just we weren't happy with that lifestyle anymore. No, a couple of things, a couple of things, <laughs> a couple of things happened in 2018. Is that my job really? <laughs> uh, um, I can't say that. Family friendly. Yeah. So my your jo job was yeah. really unpleasant. My job was not the best. I was working towards a certain level in my career, and when I finally got there in 2017, 18. I was so unhappy and the same year you got a car accident so you ha she had a whiplash so we were pretty much sick of everything that we were doing at that time so we thought we would escape everything and just travel for a year and reset I think yeah is the best way to put it yeah and then he wants to know how we afford that um, so we have worked for 10-15 years and we did save up a lot of money um, but also we uh, had bought a house and we could sell it so that's that gave us the, the, the yeah, buffer to yeah, travel yeah at least for a year full-time yeah to buy Peggy and to travel for a year yeah so we don't have an income at the moment no. that's the second question from Kirsten Tozer as well we spent nine months in Scotland last year and we did work in the whiskey industry for a couple of months so that made us able to extend our full-time travel for 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 a short while there will be a point somewhere <laughs> this year or maybe early next year that we will really need to um, create an income yeah so where it comes down to is that currently we are full-time travelers without being able to travel and we are full-time content creators without a sustainable income. So we are doing a good job. <laughs> we have budgeted the next six months so we're good for now and we just try to make as much as awesome content that we can and in the meantime we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> We'll make decisions when we need to make decisions. We'll cross the bridge when we get to the bridge. <laughs> but, that said, we do have lovely patrons. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks guys, you know <laughs> what I'm talking you, about. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> they do make it possible for us to make these videos and to continue. Thanks. A lot. You're the best. <laughs> John Binney. John! <laughs> Thanks for your question, John. He would like to know what we do to, to not to not to get <laughs> how not to get cabin fever whilst living in a motorhome. That's it. Well, one big thing is uh, traveling. Yeah. Uh, which is which is going great at the moment. So, uh, what do we do to not get cabin fever? We do spend like fifty hours or so a week on making <laughs> YouTube videos, and that's the puppy. <laughs> I think you might need a hobby to have something to be focused on and keep yourself busy. Um, other than that, we're just really used to ha to not having a lot of space, but it doesn't feel cabin feverish. Hey. <laughs> it's such a mess here. <laughs> no, but I think we we are really trying to build this this travel brand. Uh, so we are spending a lot of time and energy in that so I think really around 50 hours a week or so so full work days yeah so we get out of bed every morning and just work every day whether it's coming up with new ideas or making videos or editing videos or what whatever is needed to create this brand that we have in mind and if we're not working we're traveling yeah and and, um, and seeing new things and places and we got a puppy we got a cat so we're we're keeping busy <laughs> yeah we're just really trying to put all our effort in making this travel brand yeah keep you entertained yeah <laughs> <laughs> our next question is from Charlie the chuckle bus and he wants to know what this furry thing is I think this is the thing that he's referring to <laughs> Get the pun. 
And he wants to know if it was ever alive. And there's he thinks, one on the dashboard yeah, there's as well. one on the dashboard. We got this one as well. Um, well, first um, it was roll kill. Then it was lunch, and now it's just decorating. Just kidding. This one has a tag, so it is fake. It's just decorating, really. But we actually do have four real sheepskin, and we use them in winter times to keep our feet from freezing off. Especially in countries where it's a bit colder, then the cold is coming through the floors. So the the sheepskin, they, I'm gonna use you next winter if you keep being <laughs> annoying. But they keep you from freezing your feet off. So that does help. But they are real. They are real. These won't help. I'm These sorry. won't help. No. no. They're just nice to look at and furry. Decorative. Decorative. Charlie the Chuckle Bus. You had another question about if and how we watch TV. Oh yeah, we don't have an actual TV. So we have our laptops, we can stream Netflix, we can download Netflix, we uh, watch a lot of YouTube videos, believe it or not. It does depend on whether we have Wi-Fi somewhere that we can download some series. When we are traveling, then a lot of times when we are somewhere parked in nature or Middle Another, of nowhere. Yeah, then we don't have any cell reception, so we don't have Netflix, so we play cards or just other stuff. Drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. This one was a, a deep question, he said so himself. From Getaway Geese What have you learned from COVID that you will change when you come out of lockdown? Do not plan too far ahead. It's nice to have a plan and, and to have a, a goal or anything, but just take it one day at a time. That's what we're doing right now. It makes you realize that things are quite fragile and it can just change in a second. So um, I think that's that's the biggest thing that we have learned and that we would... Take it day by day. Yeah. 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 Go... <laughs> Okay, guys, <laughs> I think the take five, five minutes are over. I think we need to go and do things like feed feeding, the animals, <laughs> like feeding this guy and walking the pup. <sighs> They're so annoying. Wow. So I'm sorry it wasn't that fluent. It was our first Q&A ever. But anyhow, I hope we answer the questions to your liking. And that it was kind of informative. And fun. Remember to keep the questions coming. Yeah. And the video topics. We'd love to do topics. Yeah, and we need uh, the questions because we need to get better at this Q&A thing. <laughs> we need to practice. <laughs> True. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next Sunday. Or Thursday. Or Thursday. Be awesome. Stay fantastic. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. What Am I said. doing so awesome? <laughs> we've, we've got the next six months... We've got the next six months... We've got the next six months budgeted. Six? Six? <laughs> Let's talk about sex. Okay. Okay. On the floor because the cold is cold because the cold is coming from the ground <laughs> <laughs> really cold and uh, uh, the, the, the cold is coming up <laughs> live from the Netherlands Metro News one with Robin Chabotsky <laughs> and the boy from home alone <laughs> <laughs> Kevin <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha